Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going thrifting. If you don't know me already, my name is Leela and I own a vintage resale business and I go all over the place hunting for vintage, uh, mostly 80s, 90s, um, but we hunt for all eras. If it's a good find, we'll grab it. And today we're gonna head over to Bangor, Maine, which is about an hour and 15 minutes from me. And we're gonna hit up a bunch of shops in that area. Uh, that's kind of the best way to do it over here in rural Maine is to make a day of it, uh, go on a journey and hit up a bunch of places all at once. We're gonna go and do that. We're gonna see how much good stuff we can find. I had a really nice morning. I got my car all nice and heated up while I ate my breakfast, uh, which is really nice. So I don't have to be freezing cold when I get in here because it is 16 degrees out right now. <laughs> it's so cold. It's the kind of cold where if you're doing anything without gloves on, like you only have a few seconds before your hands just start cramping up and they get so cold. But the car is nice and warm now, ready for our long journey. I woke Skelly up from her slumber. Uh, she was all snuggled into my bed and I said, come on, let's go. We're going on an adventure. Um, she really likes to come along. Skelly. <laughs> she really likes to come along on adventures. So those of you who think it's strange that I would be leaving her in the car in these cold temperatures, um, don't worry. She is much happier being with me, uh, being with us uh, during the day. She does not like to be home alone. I don't have someone available to just watch her, you know, um, but she has her own husky coat and she has a coat that I provided her with. So she's going to be more than fine. I'm going to be taking her on a little walk later. I make sure she has water and she's going to be a-okay. So don't worry about that. But yeah, I had some breakfast, so I'm nice and full. For some reason, I had a very strange, like, marvelous Miss Maisel themed breakfast of a grapefruit and some buttered toast. <laughs> I didn't mean for that to happen. It just, I just ate what I had, um, but it was very good. And I've got my coffee. I've got lunch for later. Um, Cause we, you know, we're doing the frugal thing. Try not to eat out. Um, so I got my lunch and I've got a bag of packages that I need to uh, drop off at the post office from some shipping that I did last night. So we're going to we're going to do that, drop the packages off, and then we're going to head on over to Bangor and hit up some shops, and we're just going to have some fun. So come along with me for this journey, and let's see what we can find. finally made it to the first thrift store so we're gonna head in there in a sec I'm pretty excited to see uh, what they have today they open at 9 and it's 1040 now so hopefully um, all the goodies aren't gone <laughs> I kind of had a, a slow start today um, like a nice relaxing morning but it, everything took a little bit longer than I thought it would so generally speaking I like to get here right when they open but it's not a big deal to get here a little late so Let's go in and see what we can find. I got my reusable bags. Um, car is nice and warm and heated up for Scully. Uh, so yeah, I'm excited. Let's just go in and start hunting. Bye, Moo Moo. You stay nice and warm, okay? <laughs> Thank you. 
car I finished up at that um, first thrift shop. I found some really good stuff, but I didn't find that many things. So um, I ended up finding 15 pieces of clothing. And the 16th thing that I found was this cute little, I, I'm obsessed with these like fabric color covered notebooks. They're like, I don't know, they're just fabric covered and they're so cute and they're always cute on the inside and this one's empty. So I picked that up for myself, but for clothing, I grabbed about 15 pieces um, and spent about $60. So that's like $4 a piece. So not bad, um, but I'm absolutely starving now. It's like around 1230 and I, you know, what I eat for breakfast was definitely not enough to keep me full for very long. So should have seen this coming, um, but that's why I packed lunch. I packed some orzo feta pasta salad that I made yesterday and so I'm gonna eat that and then we're gonna continue on to the next stop which is about I think it's like 25 minutes away so we'll head on there see what we can find um, a little bit slow today with the picking so far but I'm happy to find 15 pieces those 505 Levi cutoffs orange tabs were amazing the um, Stefano denim skirt was amazing. The All That Jazz dead stock new with tags dress uh, with the cutest print. That was a good find. So definitely found some fun stuff, um, but I'm going to eat my lunch real quick. I'm in a crowded Hannaford parking lot right now because I always run into this Hannaford to use the bathroom. Um, like before I go thrifting and after I go thrifting, I always have to pee because um, I come here in the morning and I just have had so much coffee. So that's what happens. But yeah, I'm gonna eat my food and then we're gonna go on to the next stop. Okay, we've reached our next stop, our thrift store number two. But before we go in, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about something new that's going on in my business for 2024. I've talked about this on my Instagram, so if you follow me over there, you're probably already in the loop. But I wanted to announce it over on YouTube in case anyone was interested. I have started selling on Whatnot, which is uh, one of the reasons why I've been sourcing so much lately and gathering so much inventory. and it's going pretty well so far. I'm still very much in the growing process. Uh, so that is why it would mean the world to me if you would go uh, give my whatnot page a follow and bookmark my upcoming shows. I have a denim specific show coming up next week on Tuesday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And that's gonna be a fun one. It's gonna be completely denim. We've got uh, mom jeans, some fun, funky fun Y2K denim, and we're gonna have between 30 to 40 pairs uh, up for auction on that show. And so speaking of auction, if you don't know what Whatnot is, it's a live selling site in which you auction off a um, collection of items. So Whatnot is trying to grow the women's vintage fashion category. There are a lot of other categories in which people sell on the app. But the women's vintage fashion one is the one that they're really focusing on growing and developing. So they're doing lots of fun deals. So if you use my link in the description of this video to sign up and download the app, you'll get $10 off of your first purchase on Whatnot. And it will also send me a $10 credit to use on Whatnot as well. So it helps you out, gives you $10 off of your first purchase, and it gives me a little tip, kind of, um, a, a $10 that I can use um, to shop for myself or shop for my business. And um, especially since I don't make any money on social media yet, I don't make any money from YouTube, I don't make any money from Instagram, um, it's been a great way to just feel like my audience is supporting me. Um, so I really appreciate it ahead of time. If you go ahead and do that, um, I really appreciate it. So yeah, anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. And it's been a really fun time so far. I've met a lot of really nice people and I've, I've sold some things and, you know, still growing, still learning, but I'm having a blast so far. And yeah, I hope you'll uh, 
go along on the journey with me on whatnot as well uh, you guys have been such great youtube supporters so far so i'd love you know to hang out with you over there as well but anyway i'm gonna stop rambling and we're gonna go into this thrift store stop number two and we're gonna see what we can find <music> I wouldn't say that that was the most successful stop ever, um, but that's okay. I got, I think, six pieces of clothing and two pairs of shoes for around $28, so not too bad. Um, I was hoping for a little bit more, but that's okay, and it all adds up, um, you know, stop to stop. So I think what I'm going to do is try to find a place to uh, let Scully get out and go for a little walk with her. Um, I'm not currently aware of anywhere that you can do that in Bangor, but we will figure it out at least before the sun goes down. And then we're going to go to one more spot and then we're going to head home. It's already almost three o'clock. Like it feels like the sun's going down. It's just... It feels like it's getting so late. Um, so we're going to try to wrap this up and then of course I will be doing a haul later. So stick around for that for sure, but let's let's get this dog a little a little walking around, <sighs> and then we will hit up one more spot. Okay, I just finished up the last stop. 
I'm so ready to go home, so that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna sign off the thrifting vlog here, or the, the thrifting part of the video, and I will see you back at my place for the haul, but I'll probably end up doing that tomorrow since it's already after five o'clock and still have an hour and 15 minute drive home, and then we're gonna eat some dinner and have a relaxing evening. Um, but that was probably my most successful location out of the three. Um, I'd spent the most, but I got the most items. And I got some really cute mugs uh, by the brand Cape Shore. Um, I'll have to tell you more about them later after I do some research, but they're like down east Maine kind of themed and they're really cute. I can't wait to show you. But I got a bunch of fun clothing pieces and I'm really excited. It was a successful thrift trip. Um, but I'm going to get started on my long drive home and I will see you guys back at the hall. Okay team, we are home. It's a few days later and we're gonna do the haul. I'm gonna show you everything I got in my thrift trip around the Bangor, Maine area. I ended up spending around $173 and I bought 48 items and I spent around $3.61 Per item so that's pretty exciting that's a great cost of goods uh, almost 50 items is great for a trip um, you know over an hour away uh, spending a lot of money on gas and a big time investment as well so I'm pretty happy with those results um, but yeah we're in my photo room right now usually I do this in the dining room but it's a little bit chaotic down there right now there's just piles of clothing everywhere so you know, we got a lot of inventory coming in right now and this just seems like a more or maybe less chaotic place to do this. Um, this is where I shoot my uh, Etsy items, my modeled photos. I just move this rack over and I shoot right there. Uh, this is my rack for next week's whatnot inventory, um, which is all denim. So I was telling you about that earlier. Uh, so that's my rack of denim for the show. And we have to hurry through this a little bit because I have someone coming over in a half hour to help me with um, this next week's Etsy items. We're going to shoot everything and measure everything. And I'm still listing three items a day over on that platform. So yeah, got a lot going on right now. Um, but I'm going to show you what I got, tell you where I think it's going. Because uh, I sell, obviously on Etsy, I do whatnot shows now. And I also have an antique booth and I sell at markets, uh, one of which is Brimfield Antique Show, which we have a show coming up in May. That's the spring show. So that's that happens three times every summer, May, July and September. So that's a big one. And I also do a market called Lost and Found that is coming up at the end of this month. Um, the next one is January 28th in Bangor, Maine. And I'm doing a market called Little City Thrifty, which is in uh, Providence, Rhode Island. So if you are a Rhode Islander and you want to come shop my stuff or come to a super, super fun uh, vintage market event, you might like that. Um, that's Little City Thrifty, and that's happening March 2nd and 3rd. So that's everything that's coming up. Um, but without rambling too much, let's get into the haul. So we're starting off strong with this one. This is a sheer... Uh, like 90s baby doll maxi and she's got a tie she's got buttons down the front she has a really nice older label 24 karat 100% a rayon made in India and I just saw this one was so beautiful and I think I am uh, going to be collecting some of this type of dress for my May Broomfield show so really excited to find that one this is a dark green velvet maxi dress with a little bit of a turtleneck design there. Uh, I really just am a sucker for velvet. I think this piece is so heavy and high quality. Uh, this is definitely more of an Etsy piece, but it's got zip closure in the back. And this is the brand, Casey Spencer. I don't know, I just loved her, I had to have her. I bought a pair of shorts, already buying shorts, even though it's still January. But these are a Lee original jean, um, classic mom jean short with a bare back and a nice little leather patch. And these have the comfort waist and I just thought they were a super cute cut 
So I got those. Um, and those I probably won't be listing yet because they're still more of a spring summer piece. But eventually they will be for sale. Um, this is a cute one. So this is a black, kind of faded black corduroy jacket that I picked up specifically for whatnot. I think it's going to end up in this show actually because it just has, you know, it's not denim, but it has kind of that vibe. I just feel like this would go with the next collection. So that's why I got it. But it's a nice corduroy uh, jacket. It is a bruzy brand, size small, 100% cotton. Um, just a really cute cut, versatile, everyday piece. And I got this skirt also probably for a whatnot show, eventually more of like a grunge staple pieces type, um, you know, moody florals. So this has some nice buttons all the way down the front and it's a midi length. And I just love that print. It's so pretty. And it's Jonathan Martin is the brand with a nice paper tag made in USA. Super cute. And it's nice and lightweight, so it won't cost um, the buyer that much for shipping. So on whatnot, you do pay for shipping um, as the buyer. So I like to pick up some nice lightweight pieces for my buyers on there. I also picked this up for whatnot. Um, I find that the later 90s Y2K pieces do really well. Um, but I like that this really is a true late 90s. Um, and it's just really beautiful. It has this gorgeous like rose applique um, on the top and on the side there. Nice tank, tank style. And it's kind of slinky and, and just very beautiful. The brand is SL Fashions and it has a really nice paper tag. It's a size 10 and I just thought she was gorgeous. I bought this for the spring so she won't be available yet but just a very classic rayon 90s maxi with a tie in the back. I love when they have that tie in the back so that you can adjust the fit and make it tighter at the waist or less tight. She's a large, she's 100% rayon made in India. So that'll likely be a whatnot or an Etsy piece um, sometime closer to the spring. Okay, getting into the good stuff here. So this is an all that jazz piece that I'm obsessed with. So we found this at the first location. Her shoulder pad is kind of coming out there. So all that jazz, classic baby doll mini, um, gathered waist, short sleeves, shoulder pads. She has this feature on the back, this little like stretchy clasp thing. So that is just for tightening up the waist. Um, it's a little bit more unique than just a tie. So I really liked that. Um, she is, she has got that classic tag and she's new with tags, never been worn. So that's awesome. So I was really happy to grab that. That'll probably go up on Etsy. I bought this cute, the limited tank. I just really like this brand and I thought this was a really nice spring staple. Um, it is 100% cotton, I believe, or no, it's a cotton spandex blend, but it's really cute. I just love the pastel plaid. Uh, again, I thought it, I just thought it was a great staple piece. So that might go to a market um, and then maybe eventually end up online if it doesn't sell at a market. So we'll see. I bought this nice, sorry, it's a little bit dusty, but I bought this nice black, um, t-shirt. It has a chest pocket and it is a single stitch and I just thought it would be a great one to bring to a market. A really good staple piece for someone looking to kind of elevate those staples in their wardrobe and just add more vintage. Made in USA, 100% cotton, just really nice. I love this one. So this one is like a ditzy floral uh, 90s round skirt. I love the buttons on it and I love the floral print. It has an elastic waist in the back. So it's really kind of, you know, could fit a variety of waist sizes. It's Bobby Brooks brand made in USA and just really sweet, really, really sweet. I just can't get over that print. So I was happy to grab that one. Um, likely would end up either on Etsy or uh, would go up in a whatnot show first. This one, I'm so excited. 
So this is a Stefano classic denim skirt with a bare back. And I absolutely love these buttons on the bottom back slit area. And it's 100% cotton, just an awesome kind of like acid wash white black kind of it's like if they took black and acid washed it so much that it turned white uh so i just i loved it i thought it was awesome um and this one will likely be in the whatnot denim show coming up next week i got this for etsy so cute um i love putting these like ribbed tops up on etsy to size medium and 100 percent cotton I usually only pick these up if they are 100% cotton, just because I think that material is slightly higher quality, but I love the color. Then I got this one. This is like a leather vest. I just thought it was really high quality, and that's the brand. 100% leather shell uh, with a nice silky soft acetate lining in the back and a tie to adjust the fit. So I thought that was really cool. And that'll probably be going up in a whatnot show, maybe that uh, darker moody grunge type show that I like to do. And it'll probably be uh, going up with this vest um, together in the same show. So this vest is just a really lightweight plaid. And then in the back is that silky soft kind of material. And the material's tag is missing on this, so I'm not exactly sure what it's made of, but it's it's really lightweight. I just think it'll be really perfect for layering. And I just love that um, black watch, blue, green, black plaid. So yeah, those and probably like the moody skirts will all be together in a whatnot show probably in a few weeks. Um, I have been putting up my whatnot shows kind of in advance um, on my page so that people can find them and bookmark them and know what's coming up. So for example, next week I have, uh, so, so this coming week is the denim and then the week after that is gonna be like an 80s funky fun brights kind of collection. And then the week after that is probably gonna be accessories. So 90s shoes, bags, belts, stuff like that. And then the week after that is probably gonna be these like moody pieces, so. It's the brand Cut Loose. I don't know that much about selling modern clothing, so I just kind of see things that I think are high quality and I, I'm just kind of testing it out, testing the waters. So this is 100% linen and I have sold this brand on eBay before, so I thought, why not? I'll just try it out. Uh, it's a nice larger size and it's a cute color. So we'll try that out. I got this really cute Canyon River Blues top. So this is kind of more of a Y2K piece, but it's this really cute, like light blue floral. And she's a large, she's 100% cotton made in India. Really cute kind of cropped cut. And she's got like ruffles on the sleeve. So definitely wanted to get this one for whatnot. Uh, I think those lighter weight, cute staple pieces will do well. I'm still figuring out what does well on there, you know, like starting a new platform is hard and you just have to kind of try everything before you figure out um, what you're going to be known for and what people are going to continue to come back to you for. So this is a vintage piece, just like a really cute vintage 70s um, top. It's kind of a like a terry cloth material, but I thought this would do really well at Brimfield for the spring show. It's just very springy, but still a nice layer for those chillier evenings. But I just thought it was so fun. Look at that cute little collar and the pocket. So I had to grab her for Brimfield. I am definitely gonna be taking this to the next Lost and Found Market. I think, I mean, is it too early for spring? Like how early is too early, right? Um, but this is in vintage L.L. Bean and she's 100% cotton, women's size 14. But look how cute these are. The print is to die for. I love 90s L.L. Bean like anyway, but when it's cute, I love it extra. I think I might wait on these. I might put a little pile of shorts and spring stuff aside. Just for right now, I feel like we really are in the dead of winter. <laughs> like even though I'm thinking about spring, 
I'm not sure everyone else is thinking about spring. I don't know, let me know in the comments. How early do you source for spring? How early do you sell spring? Um, do you think it matters? Do you think it's good to be listing all seasons all the time? I'm curious to hear what you think. But these are a nice boot cut Gap 90s denim. These have a button fly. They're a really nice, stiff, rigid denim. I just love them. They're a great style, nice boot cut. So these might end up going in this denim show. OMG, you guys, remember these? Remember when I found them? It was such a crazy moment. So these are Levi's. They're marked to 28, 28. Interesting. Um, but these are old. She has that old paper tag on the inside. And let's see what it says. It says they're the 505 style, which is cool because you can't see that on the outside tag. And I have a hard time reading these old tags. I don't know how to tell what the date is from these paper tags. I know how to tell what the date is from the like the bat wing tag on the waistband, but these older tags are a little bit harder for me to tell. But either way, they have the orange tab, which means they're probably from the 80s, if I had to guess. Um, but they have such a nice fade on them. They're just so authentic vintage. And these I'll probably save for the spring Brimfield show. So I made it through one bag, which is exciting. This one is so pretty. So I got this one for the color, for the fit. It's got dolman sleeves and a beautiful, beautiful full skirt. And she's silk. She is like the softest, most beautiful silk I've ever seen. The brand is Jillian. And she's a size six and she is gorgeous. I love this so much. So had to get her for the quality. Um, she's probably more of an Etsy piece, if I had to say. This piece is another one that I think will go in that kind of India cotton rayon collection for the Spring Brimfield show. But she is April Cornell for Cornell Trading. Size large, 100% rayon, made in India. And her pattern is so cute. And she has little purple buttons all the way up the bodice there. Beautiful, she's got a tie waist. And it's interesting because I just found um, this piece, which is the same exact label. April Cornell, made in India, 100% cotton. So I know this has nothing to do with, um, you know, the haul, but I think it's, it's crazy how sometimes you find the same brand so close to one another, even though it was an entirely different store and an entirely different day of sourcing. Kind of cool. Um, but anyway, that's her. She's gorgeous. I also got this skirt. This is just a 90s Briggs piece, nothing too crazy, but she's a size 3X. She's 100% rayon and made in USA. So I could not leave her behind. I just thought she was so high quality, being that she's 100% rayon. She's a wonderful bigger size that's harder for me to find, and the print is just to die for. So we got her. Very, very, very happy to add her to my next moody grunge uh, whatnot show. This is probably going to be in the whatnot show, um, not this coming week, which is the denim, but the week after, which is the funky fun 80s, 90s brights. Um, so she's pretty wintry. But, and she might even be, I think, no, I think she's 80s. She's either late 70s or, or early 80s, but what a cute and classic print. So for anyone still feeling the winter vibes, this is for you. Uh, she's acrylic, she's in really good condition, and I just had to have her. This I got for me. The color is just so precious, and I'm a sucker for this style of top. I think it's going to be a little bit big, but... I don't know, we're gonna try it out. And of course, if it doesn't fit, I'll sell it because it is vintage. She is Fashion Bug. <laughs> Honestly, one of my favorite brands. I don't know why, but I just think their styles are so cute. Even though the brand is not particularly old or particularly special, I just love 
their stuff. So that one's going to be for me. This is a nice one. This will probably end up going to the Lost and Found show next weekend. Um, it's Lady Puritan Cape Cod clothing. 100% cotton made in USA. But it's a really nice cotton pullover in a, just a lovely kind of blue. It has like honestly lavender undertones, but I think it is really a blue. But I really liked her super high quality, 100% cotton. This is so cute, you guys. So this is a t-shirt dress and it has these little tank straps to give the illusion that you're wearing a tank dress over a t-shirt. Isn't that adorable? It's a skater style mini length, Jamie Brooke. And I just can't get over how cute this is. I can't even read on the tag like what the materials are. Actually, I can. I think she's a 50-50 poly cotton blend, but I just can't get over her. She's so cute. Um, this one is a Carol Anderson of California dress, and she is 100% tensil. So as far as I know, tensil is like a really high quality cotton. Um, and it's very soft. It's like honestly a little bit suede, if you know what I mean. So it's very soft. I love the color. Just a very versatile layering piece. I would throw this on over like a black turtleneck top, more of a lightweight one um, for a nice classic grunge look. That one's probably going to a moody whatnot show. This one, also probably going to a moody whatnot show. This one is amazing. I don't even know, like, I might have to try this one on, but this is a tank dress with a lace detail peeking up outside of a cowl neckline. Then it has this layer that starts in the front and goes to the back and underneath it, a little mini dress. So it's like classic night, late nineties layered look bordering on like the Y2K fairy core time. So good, I'm obsessed. So cool. So this one is Pocket Candy, which is a classic Y2K late 90s brand. Yeah, she's polyester, she's a medium, made in USA, just stunning. So I could not leave that one behind. And last piece of clothing are these adorable, adorable shorts. They're kind of a bright green and they are JG Hook brand. And they do have some things going on with them. They're a linen rayon blend size eight, buttons of closure in the front and some, like a comfort waist. And I think someone washed them because the lining is poking out. So obviously the linen rayon part shrunk and the lining didn't in the wash. But I think I got these for me. So I might be altering them and making them wearable uh, just for me. So I felt okay kind of splurging on something that wasn't in the best condition because I think I'm gonna be uh, doing a little project on these for myself. So I thought the cut was really cute. I love the brand JG Hook. And I don't know, I feel like I could use some more bright things in my wardrobe. Then I got two pairs of shoes. These are an Etene Aigner, one of my favorite brands to pick up. Uh, they're a point, semi-pointed toe, kind of a brown, light brown, um, beige leather. Those are the bottoms, but they're really nice. They're very minimalist. Um, they're very high quality. You can feel um, that all of this is real leather. None of it's, none of the inside is peeling or anything. So I definitely wanted to grab those. And these are a bass woven leather shoe. I always pick up shoes like this. Um, I really don't like to pick up shoes when they're not in excellent condition. And these are just in really nice condition, very shiny, very wearable, very comfortable. Um, they have a nice padded insole. And I love this brand, Bass. So I had to get those as well. Very minimalist, very 90s. And then, I found a bunch of these little mugs. So I was at a Goodwill and red was half off. So each of these 
things was just a dollar, uh, mostly mugs. And they're just these really precious like main scenes. And they're from Cape Shore Incorporated, made in Korea, and then sold in Yarmouth, Maine. So I thought they were so cute and would be a great addition to my booth at the antique mall. So these, they have all different styles. This one's like a, a pheasant, I think. And I only have one of these. I tried to get doubles or triples. Um, I only have one of those, but I have like two of these main coast scene ones. So cute. I have two of these are more of a cattail scene. I have one of these with the shells. And I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five of these. I liked the colors on there with the seagulls and this looks like the ocean. So cute. And then I got this salt and pepper shaker by the same company, same deal. And they're little like herons, I think. So cute. So yeah, and I paid a dollar for each of those. So if I can sell them all for three, I'm happy with that. Um, and it just, you know, it beefs up my antique booth a little bit. I, I really have been trying to source more for the antique booth. And I think even moving a few small things here and there um, is better than nothing. So yeah, that's the haul. Thanks so much for sticking with me uh, through all of this. I really appreciate it. And I think it was a good haul. I think it was a success. Um, what was it per item? 361. I think that's a great cost of goods. So yeah, we're going to wrap up the video now, uh, but definitely feel free to go down to the description and use that link to sign up for whatnot if you haven't signed up yet. And if you use that link, you'll get $10 off of your first order. So pretty good deal. Peruse my upcoming shows and bookmark whatever you think is interesting. I'm definitely enjoying myself on there and we've got some fun stuff coming up. So yeah, I really thank you so much for your support. I couldn't do any of this without you and support myself in this business um, without you know you being here. So thank you, thank you. And thanks for sticking with this haul. Uh, we're gonna be doing more hauls, more videos coming up here. I'm really trying to grow my channel in 2024. So if you're new here and you're not following me yet, definitely give me a follow. And yeah, I usually ask some questions in my videos and I love to see responses down in the comments and engage with you guys uh, down there. But yeah, I'm going to stop rambling now and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!